Hello, it's Billionaire Brand again. But before we delve into the show today, I'd like to tell you something. I was told and trained and I've experienced it over the years that inspection is very key in success as an entrepreneur. Why did I say so? Many men experts said, people tend to do what you inspect rather than what you expect. So if you want your business to thrive, you need to learn to inspect and monitor your staff closely. That notwithstanding does not mean you should not give them independence to operate on their own. Now, on a new episode of Billionaire Brand, I welcome you and I invite you to join us on this amazing journey. My name is Taiwo Peace Ujeniye, and with me today is an amazing young man. His name is Victor Ujeniye, and that name is kind of very, very uh, similar to a Yoruba name, but he's not a Yoruba man, he's an Hebrew man. So today, Mr. Victor, you're welcome. Oh, God bless you. Good morning. It's nice meeting you on the show. But for the people who are seeing you for the first time, how will you describe yourself? Well, I, so far, I, I think I'm an interesting person to be with. Okay. And um, I'm self-motivated. And that's, that's a summary of who I am. No, for an instance, if somebody wants to write a comprehension about it, maybe, you know, this day they ask people to write their 1,500 words. So if well, you're going to write, write a 1,500 words of yourself, what will it be? Well, I will start by saying that I'm a very understanding person, open to conversations, open to risks. I don't give up so soon. I try new things. I learn from my mistakes. I'm always ready to give you another trial. I can't, um, you know, I don't bend to pressure. I take pressure as one of my strengths. You know, I think those things are what have sustained me even in business. Interesting. So, how you describe your journey into entrepreneurship? Well, it has been interesting, not without stress, not without the pressure that lies in being self-employed, especially in a, in a country like Nigeria, where the economy in Nigeria is not actually supporting the young entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. But so far, so good. I think uh, that, that had been my best decision, and I'm still proud to be an entrepreneur. Okay, now let's talk about your company. Uh, what's the company name? Uh, it's G Tours Merchandise Nigeria Limited. And what are you into? Uh, G Tours Merchandise Nigeria Limited is a limited liability company established in 2015. Basically, we are advisory um, firm that uh, majors in business management and also in consulting and also in installations of electrical um, materials, and that includes solar installations and security installations. Now, you have an interesting scheme going on presently, but before we discuss that, there are questions I ask people on this show. So the question is, has there been a time in the past four years when you're just considering, like, maybe I should just pack up shop and pick up a nine-to-five assignment? Yes, yeah, certainly. Every entrepreneur has that experience, you know, starting a new thing that um, maybe you don't have a sufficient capital, maybe you're starting out of uh, inspiration, Sometimes it doesn't work as you think, and sometimes you have your own experience on the course of your, um, of the course of your business. Of, of course, in more than three occasions, in more than three occasions, I think I've sh shut down the shop, shut down the office, and go back to my drawing table to find out what have actually cost me to quit so soon. But sometimes I think I get motivated by the fact that there is something behind uh, the, the, uh, the business which um, gave me a strength to try again. And since then, I, I think I've been, I've been so fulfilled. Now, to help people at home, can you give a practical example? Like, I mean, I want a practical experience of maybe one of those moments. Uh, it's all right. One of those practical experiences I had was, um, uh, you know, doing my first launch into the, the business. Now, first of all, we started a training career on how to install some security gadgets. Now, you know, as a young entrepreneur, we had uh, a very big space. We made our publications, uh, wide publications. But on the day of the interview, the day of the training, nobody showed up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nobody showed up. And we have paid so much for those venues and those arrangements. And we had um, personnel you know, who came from a distant states to Lagos to, for the training, but nobody was in the venue. So it was quite shocking. That was one of my first experiences. So how do you take it? Well, I took it that it's part of those things I need to learn and overcome on the course of business. Though it was not easy, 
it was never easy, simply so, 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 so to say. But thank God we didn't give up at that point. Now, let's talk business now. It's all right. You are going, uh, you started uh, a scholarship scheme yes. for professionals. Yes. Now, I want you to talk more about that and what inspired you to start such projects? It's all right. Very interesting. Well, remember at first times we are adversary and uh, management firm. And uh, we have come to understand that there's key, these key things employers are looking for uh, you know, in, in the life of their employees, and that is um, excellence and professionalism. And we find that, that um, in most of, uh, of our young graduates, we, are, we have graduates without um, this basic skills of professionalism. And we consider those things important to give people opportunity to come to a place of professionalism in every career. I think we have about nine careers there, ranging from art, agriculture, to ICT, even to health, down to um, law also. I'm sure when you visit our site, www.gtmscholarshipscheme.net, every information concerning that is detailed. Now, this scholarship is not for undergraduates, to be clear. It's yes, not for undergraduates, no it's indeed. just for people that already have their first degree. Exactly. And they are already deciding, this is the part I want to follow in professional work. Yes, yes. yes. Now, what are the benefits? What do they stand to gain if they enroll under this scholarship scheme? Well, their, 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 their benefit is massive. One, we, the company has opened um, up to 100% opportunity, up to 100% scholarship opportunity for successful applicants. However, before you be able to benefit from that, you have to write an exam. You know, once you succeed, if you have up to 100% success in the exam, the company gives you 100% scholarship in the choice of your uh, in the career of your choice. So now, to be clear, you know, you explained earlier that okay, for instance, someone that wants to take an ICANN examination can apply to your scheme, and if they get let's say 70%, which is your cut of mark, yes, you will be in charge of taking 70% of their tuition yes. or financial responsibility yes. while they take the rest 30%. Yes. Now, what happened to people that take, let's say, 45%? Oh, in cases where an applicant um, succeeded to get just 45%, we will encourage you to retry, to repeat the exam. Um, by venturing your next uh, uh, entrance, you'll make a success. Okay, now, what are the costs of examinations? Is it free? No, the examinations are not free. The examinations, um, the application form is 7,000 there. Okay. And once they pick up the application form, what are the time frame of writing the exam? Now, the next badge of this examination is coming up on the 28th of November, 2019. Okay. And then from now to then, I think publication will be made on that regards, even in the uh, um, media's and also in a, in a uh, possibly newspaper too. So I think the date and also the venues of the exams will be well depicted. Okay, that will be announced later, the venue and date will be announced yes, now. Yes. For people that are willing to participate in this scheme, is there any syllabus how that people can study to have an idea of what the exam will look like? Yes, well, you know, this is an exam and it's a test of the best brain. Mm -hmm. And we also have to be very careful in um, trying to unveil we uh, um, respect the students to you know to focus on, but basically every other person, every person who has passed through um, a first degree, I think should be able to pass the exam. Okay, like what kind of format will the exam take? Is it CBT, you know, this computer-based test, yes. or SAA format? What no, format? the exam is totally a CBT exam. Is a computer-based text. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay, that's interesting. So no writing no, whatsoever. No, no writing. So what of people that are looking at taking journalism course, for instance? We we have provisions for that. Just to look at when you visit the site, you will see the career. You, you know, the reason why I ask that is journalism is basically about writing. Mm -hmm. And the way to know the best student is by writing, not by anybody can guess and pick a test exam and get about the way you get to know a best journalist is when they put waste on paper. Yeah. For us, for us, we are not, um, we are not interested um, the, to, to check mint for journalism. We have our own standard, and our own standard is this, pass the exam. So when you get to the field, prove yourself. 
for us, we are taking responsibility of your tuition fee. Remember, at the moment you fail the exams, you are Yo. out of the school. Now, we have to explain more that. So after you get the scholarship, you are maybe writing your ICANN uh, certification, and there are stages, uh, like you said, uh, P1, P2, maybe, uh, maybe when the person gets to P3 and he failed the exam. Well, that's been very unfortunate for the applicant because at that point you start taking responsibility of your exam. But we have an alternative to that. The alternative is that, is that the person needs to apply for a loan. To and your company? To my company, yes. And when you're applying for a loan, your loan is based on your pass rate. For people who made an A, for people who made up to 70 to 100 percent, we have a loan of 25 percent of the total cost of the tuition fee for that stage of the exam. Okay. That's the provision we have made. So what are the repayments like and what are the interest on that? No, for the repayment for the loan, we, you, we are only entitled to a payback when the person has gained the certificate. Meaning the moment the certificate is being gained, okay. the certificate will remain with us. Okay, until the person pay up on the, the person loan. pays up the loan. So there is no interest on the loan? There is no interest. It's a zero interest. This is a great initiative and I really want to say well done for that. So even my ask, what inspired you to do this? We are looking at what to contribute to the society, especially to the economy. I think it has come to a stage whereby uh, we need to employ the professionals to handle the sectors of economy in Nigeria. That is interesting. And I would, I would like to add this, you know, one of the problems that we're having at the moment in Nigeria is not that there is no job, but the problem is the available masses are not employable. It's either they are lacking in skills or they don't have the required experience. And with this initiative, I think that will address most of the issue we're having in Nigeria because many of our professionals need to learn and relearn yeah. to be able to get to that place where they can actually make, uh, take advantage of their the available opportunities. So before we round up, is there any other thing you would like to say or add? Well, I want to encourage every person who intends to go into professionalism, into professional courses, to take advantage of this opportunity, pick the form, and try the exam. I assure you're going to make a success, and that's going to be a blessing to your life. Interesting. Thank you, Mr. Victor. This has been amazing sitting with you. Thank you so, so much. So we hope to have you very soon. So. We've come to the end of this segment, and uh, I'll see you again in another episode. And I tell you before we depart with Mr. Victor today, it's good to contribute greatly to your country. And this young man here is already doing great things. And I can tell in the next 20, 30 years to come, his name will be written in gold. I can assure you that. And if you're thinking of starting something, today is the right time to start. Don't get ever intimidated by the issue that is going around Nigeria. You can do it because we are doing it. He's doing it. Everybody around is doing it. You can do it too. So see you again. <laughs>